So now in this video, I decided to build one of the circuits from the Make Electronics kit. I mentioned, or uh, the book, I mentioned it because the uh, the circuits in a lot of books are a lot more complicated than they think they should be for people learning at that level. So they just taught about the capacitor. They had earlier taught about uh, the relay, and uh, the circuits are uh, pretty complex, in my opinion, for uh, that level. So. Here's the uh, circuit that they showed. I built it a little different than what they showed. But uh, here you can see that what's going on is that when I press the switch, that LED comes on right away. That's because this LED is in the on position to begin with. One LED is switched on while the other one is switched off. This is normally closed. That one is normally open. and so when I press this, you can see this is where the positive power supply comes for this whole circuit. And uh, it comes over to uh, the uh, one side of the switch, which comes over to the LED. And then the LED goes to uh, the jumper there, which charges the capacitor. The capacitor charges practically instantly, but once it gets a high enough voltage for the coil, then it starts discharging through the coil. So actually the uh, voltage goes up pretty much rapidly and uh, or instantly and then it switches the uh, relay there's enough voltage across the coil to switch the relay and uh, then the uh, relay switches so now this one is on and that one is off well it's off it's not delivering current to the capacitor or the coil and then the capacitor discharges so that one stays on while the capacitor is discharging until the voltage drops low enough that it switches back. And then that will turn this LED on so that it can charge the capacitor and then uh, help power the coil too, of course. And it goes back and forth, it oscillates. So, uh, not terribly complicated, but for somebody that just learned the capacitor, I think it is uh, fairly complicated enough. And the wiring is kind of complicated. So. I have the uh, alligator clips here. They're going to the bench power supply. I'm powering this with 12 volts. And with my pocket oscilloscope, we should be able to see the uh, waveform there. And it looks pretty good. So the uh, capacitor suddenly charges and then slowly discharges, suddenly charges, slowly discharges, suddenly, and uh, over and over again. And the uh, relay switches when the uh, voltage shoots up and then it holds it until the voltage goes down to this point which it switches again switching back and forth giving us an oscillation so now let's take apart this circuit so we can look at it a little bit better first off let's remove I have a bench power supply because it's 12 volts and uh, we need a higher voltage with this circuit that's uh, one issue I have with this I like to uh, use circuits that use 5 volts or even a 9 volt battery for uh, people just starting out in electronics. So I'm going to leave that there. I have these two jumpers here because uh, I want both rails powered and so I got the negative one powered here and it jumps over and powers the negative side of that rail. Again the positive connected to the bench power supply jumps over so it has both rails powered positive. The capacitor is parallel with the uh, coil, and so we will just yank that out. We already looked at the capacitor and talked about it. These two jumpers I'll uh, remove. They were just to extend out this area to uh, put the capacitor, so I don't have to like just angle it and have it rubbing against the uh, relay. And so now the relay itself. We got uh, two lone pins right there. One goes to this gray jumper, which goes directly to ground. And uh, so that powers the uh, low side of the uh, relay. Over here we have this jumper here. And so you can see there's a big gap now before we come to the next three pins. So we'll look at that from uh, the side. So now moving along the side here, that uh, pin that uh, charged the uh, capacitor and also allowed current to flow through the coil from positive over to uh, negative comes over here and I misspoke earlier I thought the capacitor was charging through the LED it wasn't it was charging directly from here so when we close the switch 
we had a positive connection to that center pin which went through the normally closed switch and uh, came here it powered the LED which comes here and then goes to ground through the resistor and also the current flowed through there to charge the capacitor until the capacitor was charged enough to switch it over to there so now here's another angle that I think is a lot easier to see what's going on we press the switch and uh, that connects positive to uh, this jumper to the middle pin as we said before and then uh, it's normally closed over here so we have a path to charge the capacitor and light the LED capacitor gets to the voltage needed to uh, switch the relay so it closes the uh, center pin there to, to that pin for the uh, positive and that comes to the anode of the LED which goes through the LED to the protective resistor it's a 1 kilo ohm resistor since we're using 12 volts and then that LED lights up until the capacitor discharges enough to uh, switch back to its normal state so that one's normally closed that one's normally open and then when it switches that one becomes closed and that one becomes open and it might help to look at the relay from this side so we had uh, the positive come in there and then normally this one is closed so we had a path over to the uh, relay and then ground so positive to negative it also charged the LED so it went through the LED to this resistor ultimately to the negative rail so positive to negative and then once the voltage got high enough it pushed the switch over here to make a connection there and then so positive went uh, to the long lead the anode of this LED and then down to negative so positive to negative through there and so this uh, this isn't a terribly complex circuit but uh, for somebody that's just learning about capacitors I think it is so uh, if you have the make electronics book I don't know if they updated it or not if it's changed since I got it in digital form but uh, this is one of the uh, circuits they show how to wire it a little bit differently but it's it's all still basically the same and that's uh, one kilo ohm resistor 1000 ohm resistor make sure you use enough resistance because this is 12 volts and uh, again that's more voltage than I think somebody brand new to electronics should be using but in any case hope this still helped you I really like the book it uh, tells a lot of great information just uh, at least some of the circuits I think are a lot more advanced than uh, for that level of reading 